In this video, we're going to learn how to animate realistic fireworks in After Effects without using any external plugin. And I'm also providing a fireworks pack of five different fireworks. By the way, you can get it from the link in the description. And in this pack, you can change the color of the fireworks by changing the hue values. So that being said, now let's check out the techniques that have used to animate those fireworks. So first, let's check out how to animate particle twirls in After Effects. So let's start with adding a solid layer. So right click, new and solid. Let's rename it to particle trails. Now let's apply an effect on this layer called CC Particle System 2. Now we're going to play with the settings a bit till we get the required result. So let's change the birth rate to around 5, the longevity of around 1.2, under producer, radius x 0.5 and radius y 0.5 as well. Under physics, let's change the animation type to jet sideways. Let's decrease the velocity to 0.2 and let's decrease the gravity as well. Let's give it around 0.001. And now under particle, particle type to faded sphere. And now let's give the birth size to 0.05. Also death size to 0.05 and the max opacity to 100%. And now let's change the random seed to around 250 or 270 around. Now you can even change the birth and the death color. So let's change the birth color to a lighter shade of yellow and the death color to somewhere near purple. Well, I would highly encourage you to try out different settings and see if you can make it look even better. So let's move the playhead to zero and let's add a keyframe on the position under producer. Now let's jump on to around next 75 frame and add a keyframe and start the animation from outside the preview panel. Let's use the keyframe. Now let's jump on to around 60 or 64th frame and let's add a keyframe on birth rate and let's jump on to next around 8 frame and give the birth rate 0. And this is how it looks now. Now let's duplicate this layer one more time. So select the layer and press Ctrl plus D. And let's rename it to particle trails too. Now under physics, let's change the animation type to explosive. And let's increase the resistance to around 80. Then let's increase the gravity to around 0.1. Well, I'm also going to change the birth and the death color as well. So change the birth color to some darker shade of orange and the death color to a darker shade of red or maybe purple. Well, let's increase the resistance even more. Yeah, this one is looking better. And now we're going to animate the gravity for this layer. So let's add a keyframe on gravity and let's jump onto the next keyframe of the birth rate and give the gravity zero. And this is how it looks. This extra layer of the trill adds a little dimension to the overall particle animation. Now let's animate a light glowing ball for the firework. So let's start with creating a new composition of resolution of 1080 by 1080 and frame rate 30 fps. Now let's add a solid layer, so new, solid and let's name it and let's apply lens flare on this solid layer. And now let's adjust the flare center. So let's give it around 540 by 540 so that it's aligned exactly at the center. Flare brightness of around 106 or 10 and the lens type to 35 mm prime. And now let's add an adjustment layer. So new then adjustment layer and let's apply set matte on it. And now in set matte, change the use for matte from alpha channel to luminance which gives a transparent background. And now we're going to add a little pop-up on the lens flare effect to initiate the explosion. So we're going to add the explosion exactly where the particle trails are going off. So somewhere around here, and let's copy the time from here and let's paste it over here. And we're going to select this fireball layer and let's add a keyframe on flare brightness. Now let's jump on to next three frame and let's increase the flare brightness to around 130. And on the previous frame, let's decrease it to around 75. Again, let's jump on to next three frame from the second keyframe and give the brightness zero. Let's easy the keyframe. And now let's apply a glow effect on this fireball. 
Now under glow, we are going to animate the threshold, radius and intensity. So let's add keyframes on these three properties. So let's start the threshold with 80%. Glow radius, let's increase it to 330 and let's keep the intensity 1. Next, when just before the explosion, we are going to add a spark. So for that, let's decrease the threshold to around 65. Let's increase the glow radius to around 410 and the intensity to around 5.5. And then we can copy and paste the initial keyframes. This is the keyframes. Here we have the spark. And now in the firework composition, we're going to bring this glowing light ball composition. Put it over here. Open the position property and pick a position with the position under the producer of this particle CC effect. So now the spark is going to follow the trail as well. Well, I think the glowing ball is just too big. We can decrease it to around 30%. This one actually looks better. And now it's time to animate the firework explosion. So let's start with adding a composition with resolution of 1920 by 1080. And now let's add another solid layer and apply CC particle system 2. Now let's increase the birth rate to 20 and the longevity to 10. So under physics, let's decrease the velocity to around 0.5 and gravity to 0. Resistance, let's increase to around 12. And then under particle, let's keep the settings as it is. And I would like to change the birth and the death color. So let's add a keyframe on the birth rate at the start. And let's jump on to around 8 frames and give the birth rate complete 0. You can easily use the keyframe and this is how it looks. Now let's duplicate this solid layer one more time. And for the second layer, at the start, let's change the birth rate to around 60. And then under physics, let's change the resistance to around 20. And this adds another layer of explosion in the firework. And now let's add some sparkle effect to this firework animation. So let's duplicate this solid layer one more time and let's name it sparkle. Now let's start the birth rate with 15 then under physics let's change the resistance to 10 then under particle let's change the particle type to star let's change the birth size to around 0 0.05 and death size to around 0 0.01 and you can change the birth and the death color and this is how it finally turned out Okay, now we are going to follow the same process. So go to project and we are going to add the explosion composition here. Open the position, pick with position with this position with keyframe. And of course, we are going to retime it from the spark. And this is how it looks. And now let's animate some firework trails with the explosion. So let's start with adding another new composition. Keeping the resolution 1920 by 1080. Now let's add another solid layer and apply particle system 2 again. Now let's change the birth rate to 6, longevity to around 5 under physics. Let's decrease the gravity to 0.1, resistance to around 100. Then under particle, let's change the particle type to faded sphere. Let's change the birth size to 0 0.05 and the death size to 0 0.05. Also, I'm changing the birth and the death color. And now let's animate the birth rate. So let's add a keyframe at the start on the birth rate. Let's jump on to next 8 frame and give the birth rate 0. After that, let's add a keyframe on resistance. And now let's jump on to around next 30 frame and Give the resistance to around 20. You can easily use the keyframe. And now we are going to add some expressions. So first let's add an expression on birth size which is value minus inside the bracket index minus 1 asterisk 0 0.001. Now we are going to copy this expression and paste it in that size. 
also in max opacity. But under max opacity, let's change this value to around 2. Now let's duplicate this layer multiple times. I'm duplicating around 25 to 26 copies of it. And now you can just offset the layers by one frame starting from the top. And here we have these trails after the explosion. And now it's time for the final touch up. So let's select the explosion layer and apply a glow effect. Now let's decrease the glow threshold a little bit. And let's keep the other settings as it is. We can copy this effect and paste it on the trail layers. And this is how it looks now. And finally, if you want to change the color of the overall firework, all you have to do is add another adjustment layer and just apply hue saturation. And from master hue, you can change the color of the firework. It is going to affect the entire composition. And you can even change the saturation, increase or decrease and increase or decrease the lightness of the color. Alright, so that is it for this video. I hope you learned something new from it, which you can use in your future projects. So if you like the video, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the techniques, then make sure to comment down below. I'll be happy to help you out. And if you're here for the first time, then make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates. Until then, goodbye.